Me? Gungaga. Whatever. It works. I'm back. Uh, it is. It is still the same night as the previous part, but to you people on YouTube, it will be a whole day has passed before you watch this. If you're watching this, I doubt it. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting average. I got average views on part one, so I doubt there's gonna be much retention here. But who knows? Maybe we'll see. There's an experience point there I didn't pick up. Multi-purpose balls, yes. So hey, if you didn't watch part two, or if you're just joining right now for some reason, um, I'm I'm getting sick. Pretty sure I have it. The thing. My throat's starting to hurt, but I took medicine, so I think we might be okay. Here's Ashura, because we, you know, we Ashura haven't seen this thing three times already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so it does keep track of the ones you kill, just like uh, Breath of the Wild does. And I guess they do become harder. I gotta lower the volume a bit. Because I had it up for, uh... The mid- the midstream break. Bitch. Oh, I, I had a ring, somehow. See, rings are- like, picking up rings in the overworld is so trivial, because you could just do this an unlimited amount of times. Keep on YouTube time travel. Dropping the onion rings. Did you see the animation that, uh... Hold on, after I, after I beat this, I'll show you. Have you seen the, the, the fan thing where it's, it's a clip from Family Guy, but it's edited so that Peter's in Deltarune? How come I can't just, I can't just, like, break into a, uh... A thing? No? Fuck. I like, have to land before it works. Really don't like that. There we go. Already cleared. Okay, so speaking of onion rings, hold on, I'll, I'll pull it up right now. Move is so useful. I know, it's so, it's so busted. I can't believe they give it to you that early. It's absolutely busted. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> I saw a really, a really dumb, uh, let's just say political tweet, but I, I don't want to show it off because I don't want to, I don't want to drag controversy, controversy? I don't want to drag that in here. Oh, uh, alright. Sight Seeker. I gotta follow this dude. I don't know why I don't. This stinks more than that time I was in that new Sonic game. <sighs> I got lead poisoning because I thought the rings were onion rings. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I feel like this could be the Skyrim of the Sonic franchise. Oh my god. I know, it's done so. It's done so well. Like this, this Sight Seeker does amazing work. The other one, the other animation they've made is is Peter in Delta Rune, where he's Spade King, and he's trying to he's trying to use the bathroom. Yeah, it's it's really not like it's incredible how well done it is. That's Sight Seeker on Twitter. They also upload their videos to uh, YouTube. And I, I'm pretty sure I'll be throwing them a follow after this, because I don't want to... If they make another one, I want to be, like, front and center for that shit. Uh, okay. We're approaching Elder Coco. What? I'm gonna think of it, like, outside of getting 100% on these, I don't think there's a ton left here that I really need to look into. There's still these, so let's, um... Let's set sail for One Piece. Uh... Oh, I don't have enough for an upgrade. Oh, this is the nighttime one. Okay, I can't do this yet. Uh, let's head to this one then. Wait, there's another... what? Dude, my insight. Allow me to unlock the power of the siege you've gathered. Oh, so they're just in multiple places. So if you get the uh, fast travel scrolls, uh, you could just warp to anywhere they are on the map. That's good. What else may I do for you? I'm happy to help. Speed to ring capacity. Ring to capacity to speed. Oh, I see. So he'll re yeah, he'll reduce one by one level and raise the other by another level. That's pretty good. I've hastened your step, but you shall carry fewer rings. Anything more? Why does he offer like the two services while the other guy only offers the one? What is this? Did it go back down. Yes, it did. Bring along all your hopes and dreams. <laughs> yeah, fighting the giant enemies it doesn't seem like there's a ton of point to it because you you get a gear which you could get like so many other ways. Ooh. Magical fun world.
Okay, wait. Let me get back over here. Ah, that's how you activate that. more than one okay there we go not too big on the whole like timed ones because like then you have to wait around No thanks. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we've cleared most of. Wow. What was was that cleared most of that? Uh, that's the no. That that's the thing that I can't do. This, however, I can do. Mark a waypoint. Now comes the anxiety. Oh no, what happened? I guess anxiety doesn't need a reason. I know that better than anyone. Oh, look at this. What is this? I don't know if I filled an online application wrong or not. If I did it wrong, yay, no food for you. Oh, no. Oh, look. Fast travel to all portals unlocked. Once all challenges are completed and the entire map is revealed, fast travel between portals will become available. Fast travel can be accessed by changing the map filter in the upper right corner of the screen. I haven't even unlocked 1-7 yet. Go to that portal so I can go fishing again. Okay, cool. Makes this go a lot quicker. Why is there there's like one isolated pickle of land down there? That's a word I got from Vinny when he was doing champ- Oh wait, there, what's all this up here? Can I go here? No, I guess not. So what I got from Vinny when he was doing Champions Road. Shouldn't Sonic be your fast travel? Oh, ho, ho, yes. I don't like how the fast travel just can't be accessed from, like, anywhere. Like, why can't... Why do I have to change this to a fast travel icon? Anyway, is this actually how you get here? Because I don't remember finding a way to get to this island.
Oh, hmm. Maybe I did need to actually do this to get this to unlock over here. <clears throat> Just that awesome? Yeah. <clears throat> Although, I bet you'd have better insight on that. I will not share data with the enemy. Besides, your survival may be a fluke. You cannot cheat fate forever. Wow, thanks for the encouragement. I'll keep doing it until I figure out how to rescue Amy. Yeah, it doesn't matter if this is all one big trap or if you keep throwing weird robots at me. Nothing's gonna slow me down or stop me. Count on it. I uh, I cannot show this on stream because I will get DMCA'd to oblivion. But hold on one moment. If you haven't seen it, uh, there was a one last trailer for Sonic Frontiers that came out yesterday, actually, like after the game had released. And uh, you would not in a million years... Well, no, I guess maybe some people would. But let me tell you... Y you you probably won't see the choice of music uh, coming for this for this uh, trailer. So give that a watch if you if you're interested. It fits really well. It's it's cute kid a little odd yeah. It does fit really well and it was used in the movie but um yeah that's uh. That is an incredible, incredible choice of music. I'm like nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, that's a that's an exp that's not a cheap song to use. That's the song in the YouTube ads too. If you get an, a YouTube ad for for Sonic Frontiers, it like the f like the fifteen second version. That's the that's the song that gets used in it. Oh, look at this. This is new. Oh, never mind. It's highways again. Haha, <laughs> fooled you! Okay. Just went right through the signs. I could see what this is an homage to. This is an homage to that tail stage from Sonic Adventure 2. I saw that. bad. All I missed was the red star rings. How come these, like, it's so, the difficulty in getting an S rank is so, like, uneven. I'm gonna try again, because all I need is that first red ring now.
There it is. I said there it is. There we go. I saw the trail, it was fun, yeah. <laughs> Again, the fact that Sonic doesn't lose the rings until after he hits the ground is a bit weird, but I understand why it's like that, because, um... They... there's a move that you could get much later that I think just prevents you from dropping your rings. Terrible loading times. Better than Breath of the Wild, that's for sure. Let me tell you, for as great as Breath of the Wild is, that game's loading times are shit. Though that also might be because it was made for Wii U initially. Apparently the Wii U version actually does run slightly better than the Switch version of Breath of the Wild. Hard to believe it's been well over five and a half years since the Switch came out. Like, it's so. Like, I remember the day I got it. I remember what was happening at the time. That point in my life was so weird. I think me, it was me. You hated going in shrines, hated it because some load time was opposed to none when you travel, yeah. Something like that. Uh, so first things first. Battle skills have been un that have been unlocked will automatically be, act be automatically activated during combos. However, damage that will be reduced after unlocking a skill, you could toggle it auto combo on or off from options. Auto combo. Set whether auto combo activates skills during combos. Let's find something to combo. Oh yeah! Check that out. I completely forgot that move existed because I haven't used it. I might just leave that on for flashiness, honestly. How old were you when you got your Switch? Oh my god, I actually can't remember. It was 2017. Oh, well, wait, no, 2017. I was 29. <laughs> because my birth... My bur I, I was born 1987, so... Whenever a year ends in 7, that means my, my age is going to end in 0. And that was before my birthday, so I was 29. And then I turned 30 uh, a few months later. Older than you? Yeah, I'm pretty old. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty like a lot throughout a lot of a lot of my friends group. I'm I've, uh, a, bit, a lot of my friend groups. I'm kind of the oldest person in them. Wow, there's a seed in there. <clears throat> my reasoning is that I spent a lot of my. Uh, Essentially, I lost a lot of my of my twenties, and people are like, "Oh, well, you didn't lose it. You you're just resting from the trauma of your teens before you become weird in your thirties." And while it is true, okay, from from 2013 until 2018, 
mid-2013 until end of 2018, I did not have any sort of job. And because of that, I was kind of, like, stuck. Like, in, in like, kind of like now, but, like, with working from home. But I was stuck in my room doing nothing for a long time. I didn't get to do a lot of stuff for that, for that half a decade. Because I had no money, I was in my mid-twenties, and I had no prospects in life. It sucked, and I felt like a moocher, and I felt very bad about myself. And to be honest, I got lucky. As much as I don't really, you know, as much as I complain about my job... Uh, I needed it. it just happened. Oh, it made a rail. Okay, I see the rail's gone now. I'm pretty sure I've, I've gone over it. Yeah. I've gone over it a few times, but there is a, a reason behind it all. Reason behind it. Again, I'm not making much sense here, so I'm not concentrating, but... Oh, that's how you get over here. Okay. So I broke- I broke the game- <laughs> I, I sequence broke getting over here. That's amusing as hell. Cammy's playing Fuga! I'm so glad more people are playing that game. The sequel's coming out next year. Alright, so outside of Amy, I don't think there's anything left to do here. I think I've done everything, unless I want to go and get the remaining, uh, keys. Which I don't really care that much about, unless I absolutely need them at this point. I might just do that offline. Have you seen any Fuga Challenge runs? No? Game's slow, uh, but I guess you meant challenge runs. I, I did not do all the hard routes when I played the game. I did a mix of, like, the hard and easy routes, just because at some point I was just like, I can't deal with how hard, how bad it is to lose a lot of progress. I don't want to bother, so I'm just going to take the easy routes. Oh my god, excuse me. Still thinking about the Coco? One of those two medicines is working, and I don't know which one. Happened, but I know what I saw. A love that transcended time. I believe in our power. When this is over, I want to share that love with the world. Even though it may take us far apart. I know you'll do great. I want to hear all about it when you come back. It was on Game Pass, but now I already know the story. Uh. Oh, this stuff is unlocked now. What's up, Amy? Look. Uh, wasn't this region locked off before? I think you can interact with it now. I think you can rotate some of them. Potato, rotato. Maybe they'll act like the other puzzle locks and show me the way to that Titan. It's worth a shot. All right. What's the right way to do this? Hmm. Looks like there's a pattern on the ground. Is it the same one in the air? Among the many tombstones, there are black tombstones that can be turned. Turn those tombstones to and point them in the right direction. The pattern on the ground may give a hint. Okay, so the ones that have... Yeah. C 
cease operation. <laughs> Oh, I could just. I don't even have to move. I don't even have to walk to them. I could just do this. Understand this. There's something I'm not getting here. Wait a minute. Ah, some of these only turn some of them, and some of them turn others. Okay. This, uh... It's R. Corvo's office all over again. No, not not his office. What was it? It's Hugo. It's Hugo's hidden spot all over again. The plan right now... See, that looks right. But I don't think it is. It may not be. The plan now is tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna do more. Song. I'm gonna do more of this. I think we're getting close here. Something. Some. Something's still not clicking. Fug is cool, but a little on the easy side. And a streamer I followed beat it both with no deaths, though we did look, uh, luck out in some bosses. I did a stream of it that lasted a, a long time because I just stopped playing it for like two months to do other st to stream other stuff. Uh, Sean streamed everything in the game. He he streamed. I think he streamed like every possible ending and got like every gear. It's ridiculous how much work he put into his stream for that. Oh, there we go. That path goes over there, so... I, I'm guessing we have to make one connected... thing. a little more confusing than I would think it would be. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, so that one's good. both that direction. Oh, okay, I got it. Ah, so that's why there was an invisible wall there, because there was something secret behind it. If I can't find the last Chaos Emerald, though, I searched everywhere I could. I'm Thank you. Ideas. That was dumb luck. Don't worry. So where is it? Eh, maybe I'll find it along the way. Understand why the game like does that. Okay, so what was I saying? Here's the here's the plan. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do another Sonic stream. Maybe a long one like this again, where I split it into two parts. We'll see. Uh, Friday, I'm gonna try to do the first part of the first half of the Splatfest, where it's just this, the the main battles. I'll do that for maybe like an hour, an hour and a half, and then I'll probably do more Sonic. Then Saturday. Uh, I'll do the second half of the Splatfest where the tricolor battle is available. And I'll do that, and I'll also finish um, Yuppie Psycho. That'll be early. I'm not going to go late on Saturday. Saturday stream is going to be a lot earlier than usual. And then Sunday on, I'll probably just do Sonic again until Pokemon comes out. The 18th, next Friday, when Pokemon comes out, I do not have work because I had an extra PTO day that I thought I had to use... Uh, it turns out I am not going to use it. It turns out I don't have to use it, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, I do have the game coming. It should be coming launch day. GameStop is usually very good about getting the package out, like, early and having it be on my doorstep, like, when I wake up. So, as soon as I get, as soon as I get Scarlet and Violet, I'll be streaming that, like, all day Friday. I don't think, given the current situation, I don't think I'm going to be going out next weekend as well, so expect Saturday and Sunday streams of it, too. That thing in the waterfall just shouts, where's your god now? <laughs> That's some uh, waterfall texture there. Why would you do that? Why would you put a reward there and then put a thing to punish me?
And yeah, like I said, uh, like I said a bunch of times earlier, uh, assuming that I finish Scarlet and Violet sometime in mid-December, Scarlet. I'm I'm gonna get a double pack and play get Violet's exclusives, but I'm probably giving away Violet at some point. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. It may be um a, a, like a Twitter giveaway. Unless Mr. Beast buys out your local GameStop, he can't. My local GameStop went out of business. It shuttered. I went by it. Uh, the other week when I went to the oral surgeon to make an appointment and uh it's it's shuttered it's it's and it sucks too because that that was a GameStop I had a lot of memories with like it wasn't a great place don't get me wrong don't get me wrong that store sucked but I have so many memories of going there it, it's where I it's when I when I first had my first job it's where I went and bought uh Fire Emblem Sacred Stones Sanic Frontiers here we go Oh, you can just go behind the waterfall. What is that? God, you worked at GameStop? No, no, I didn't work at GameStop. I just have a lot of memories of the local GameStop that I used to go to, but it sh I went by it a couple weeks ago, and it's gone. It's, it's shuttered. When I meant I'm getting the game at, on launch for Pokemon, I meant I ordered it online through GameStop service. And since I got the double pack, uh, oh, how do you reach that? Since I got the double pack, there's free shipping on it. But also, they're usually, why am I not like, well, it's weird. Because I got the double pack, there's free shipping. Usually they charge for shipping. Okay, why didn't I activate that cutscene over here? Like, that's weird. Alright, anyway, there should be a spring in here. There it is. Okay. Where's the... How's the game performance? It's definitely janky on the Switch. But it doesn't look terrible. I mean, you could def you're definitely getting a way better visual experience. Like, look at- you saw that thing pop in there. The thing is, apparently every version of the game has pop in, which kind of, uh, is disappointing. But, I will say, if you want a portable version of this game, you're not losing too much by getting this. You're gonna be moving so quickly you won't notice. I'll say everything's consistent, too. There's not really any stutters or drops or anything. You just have to deal with the pop-in and the, uh, reduced graphical fidelity on the Switch. Giganto. <laughs> Sonic cannot match Giganto's power. Yet. Reach Giganto's head to transform into Super Sonic. Well, thanks for spoiling where the last emerald is. I actually can't, uh... Oh, I can't save because I'm in a boss fight. I'm guessing there's nothing hidden to, like, find in here. Rings, onion rings. Again, the fact that you could just farm rings by doing the side loop is really weird. Like, you would think that they would put a limit on how often you could do that. Guess I'll look into this one. It starts hitting deep Steam sales. I mean, if you get the Steam version, you're un undoubtedly getting the nicest looking version if your PC can handle it. Okay, there's some kind of blue ring showing up. There we go. Yeah, totally not Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Hedgeosis. Slenderman? 
That's, I'm sorry, that, that made me laugh. Yeah, here we go! Don't VOD mute me. Super Sonic doesn't take damage, but rings will be lost as the battle goes on. Because of the time limit, the key to this battle is to efficiently deal heavy damage. Using Sonic's knowledge and techniques, defeat the enemy. Okay, it does seem to be one ring per second. I like this. I like this idea of him just getting knocked back, like, immensely, and you have to recover. Okay, he's whacking me, but don't worry, Mom, it's a phase. If you're expecting to wake me up. Fuck. I'm not able to dodge. Eleanor is not working. There we go. What's happening? How do I... Okay. I don't know what to do. The game's not, like, giving me any sort of indication on how to, uh, dodge out of this unless I... Okay. Just go to the back. Mess the single palm 100 yard yeet. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Parry this attack. Hmm. Farm rings first, yeah. I don't think it matters. I think what happens is you get set to max. Or not max, but I don't know. Hope Game Grumps plays. You'd love to see Dan's reaction. 
See, I'm sure... Here's the thing, Dan would Dan, Dan would probably love this shit. Dan definitely is more on the, like, enjoys Sonic side of things, but he also enjoys watching Aaron freak out. People are like, oh, Aaron's gonna play this game and he's just gonna shit on it. And it's like, maybe. That's, that's what he does. Who cares? This game is absolutely not perfect, and it absolutely is able to be shit shat upon. It's ring farming method. Yeah, it's slow, but it's there. Well, now it's not slow. Now it's going... Alright. The fact that you can just get stuff in the game is, like, ridiculous <laughs> by doing that. It's a bit broken. Okay. We're at max power now. Gotta extend the gameplay somehow. I was about to start self-generating phase on for a moment, yeah. Access my, uh, oh wait. Yes, I can. What am I doing? I'm gonna turn auto combo off just because then I'll do more damage, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. N I think I'm doing a lot more damage actually without it on. L and R for that, so I don't know what's going on. There we go. The thing is, there's no vertical movement in, in in this form. It's all... you're just locked to whatever height you're at. Hot monster. It's not that... It's like an angel. From, uh, Evangelion. Also, hey, Meowdy. Me Meowdy, Meowdy sour cream. Damn it. Not a free hit, never mind. Eggman's religious? No. I think he's a man of science. A 
again, it's worth noting, I'm playing this on hard mode, so it's a bit... It's a bit harder than it seems, than it would be normally. But the game, the thing is, you have to play in hard mode. Well, you don't have to. I'm... I'm assuming that button mash is harder on hard mode because it's definitely what was what was that? Scientists have religions? No, no, I'm not, I, you know, yeah, but I don't know. They they revere chaos in this world and not VOD muting. Sega, do not VOD mute. The first seal is broken. Thy next foe awaits on the San Scar Island. Right. You said Titans earlier, plural. Or Titans, as they say in uh in, in Zeta Gundam. Darn it. I guess this isn't over until I pop all the big bots. Bop em. Sorry, Amy. I'm feeling more like my old self. It's working. Keep going and don't keep me waiting. I'll be back before you can do a fortune card reading. See ya! When was that a thing? So that comes up in Sonic Origins, too. Amy apparently does tarot readings. What, when was that established? Conquered Kronos Island. 100%. Directions be many, yeah. Fair point. There was something I was going to talk about, and now I forgot. Oh, oh, you brought it, you said religion because I mentioned angel. No, I meant like an angel, like an Evangelion angel. Whoa. Oh, Amy's calmer in this version. Yeah, everyone is. They're all kind of uh, chill. I lost all my rings. Ares Island. Alright, well, first things first. Let me, let me take a hit. Metal. Oh, okay, yeah. Each island has its own collectible. So this is the heart of this island. God of War now. Saw her do it in the GBA game, yeah. Actually, having Ellen's angel was based on a biblically accurate angel. True. True, 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 true. Anyways, yeah, almost all of them looks and sounds a bit matured. Yeah. The voice direction in this game is very good. Sonic approaches the enemy, curls up to protect itself. Use side loop to defeat it. Ah. Side loop. The, whoa! Must have been a wind turbine there. Meep. Yeah, man. YouTube has auto captions for its videos now, and it like generates a whole script based on your video. And the way I say some people's names or just words in general, because I talk so quickly, the the thing just picks up words like completely different words that I'm not saying. 
kind of think the opposite actually starts just so goofy to you. Okay, yeah, no, no, I totally understand that too. Like, it's a Sonic game. It's a Sonic game. You expect, like, heh, witty, witty banter. Eggman being an idiot, even though he's really smart. But no, they, they definitely went with something a lot more serious for the sake of uh, telling a story. Enemy steals the Chaos Emerald is the one that needs to be defeated. Wait. Stomp it out and get it back. Oh, it's making a rail. I see. I see what I gotta do. Ride the rails. And bam. Kind of serious, not the edgy middle schooler. Con yeah, it's clear that they wanted something because just just from what we've seen so far, we know that this game is going into a lot of like like deep cut Sonic lore. I know that's a word some people really hate, but it's the truth. They, they definitely care a lot about, like, the direction that this game went in, in terms of its storytelling and atmosphere. And I, I think it's Sega trying to do what, uh... What the fans have always said they wanted, a more mature Sonic game. Something that harkens back to what Sonic, what people like about Sonic. I'm 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 word salading here. I can go for a salad right now. I have I still have that egg foo young like taste in my mouth and it, it's really annoying me because it's like I, I I didn't mind it when I was eating it and now I'm just like please I don't want to taste it anymore. They want to mature. They play Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> See now that's edgy. Now that's now that's out the edge. That's I mean that's where that meme literally came from. Um, okay. Where's a sign? So I could like start uncovering the map here. What is the fuck? Oh. Oh, it's Knuckles. Knuckles? What are you doing here? Never mind. I'll get you out. Hang on. No, my one for Ward Sal, but mostly because you're. A <sighs> Sour cream. Why? <laughs> Knuckles is in an unstable state, trapped in cyberspace. Collect his memory tokens to stabilize condition. Memory tokens we found. Yeah, we know. It's the same as Amy. Why does he have medals though? Needed nine. Hang tight, Nux. Be back in a flash. Also, I'm surprised they didn't do Knuckles last, because um, you know, Tails is with you. More Eggman tech. Looks like he was planning a full invasion. So where is he? It's not the fishing mini game, cooking mini game sequel, Big the Cat. Uh, there, it's in this game. You do. You, there, there is a fishing mini game in this game, and it was fun. I played it for like 20 minutes earlier. There's also and 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 cooking too. Yeah, there's um, it's not out yet, but there is going to be a crossover with Monster Hunter World. Uh, sorry, Rise, and you're going to be able to um, have Sonic wear like Monster Hunter armor and cook uh, and do like a cooking mini game. 
I don't know if that means that this game's gonna get, like, extensive DLC, but it's definitely pointing that this game's gonna get updates. I can say without spoiling that this is the, that this is the next Sonic game would feel like a time skip in terms of lore. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, they do very much acknowledge, like, a lot of the past games in this. They've acknowledged Sonic 1, 2, 3, Adventure, Adventure 2... Ah. I have 20 points. Go to this. Oh, I can actually go to the back to the other island. We'll consider it. Uh, but for now, let's get quick side loop. Press X during a combo. Quickly side loop around the enemy. When the side loop meter is maxed down, turns blue. This meter fills up with every attack that hits the enemy. It can be used continuously while it's still blue. Okay, let's get it. X during combo. Okay, that could be useful. That could be useful fighting enemies that have shields up, because then I don't have to, like, stop to do a quick side loop. There's a reason you're rescuing Tails last. Oh, interesting. The, 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 the funny thing is, too, though, is this game does not... Okay. Push this out. Also, I noticed this earlier. If you go to the home screen while playing this game... Uh, first off, what's happening here? Nothing. Uh, it automatically goes back to the skill screen. In a very weird, uh, way. Save. Again, it's weird because, like... Knuckles isn't in the beginning of this game. It's just Sonic, Tails, and Amy. So you wouldn't know Knuckles was in this until you actually run, run into him here. But, they did put out that, uh, animation special... Uh, last week. Which I do recommend watching, if you're enjoying this game, because it kind of gives a little more context to how he ended up here. Strider? Oh no. Slide all the way around the big circles to reveal the enemy's weak points. What's it called? Divergence, I think? Ah. There we go. Fun. We should go back and take out a squid though. Before, uh. Oh, that sucks. You completely fall off. At least, um. At least its, it's progress doesn't get erased. Sonic, what are you doing? Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was real cool. Probably notice the stakes are huge if you need Super Sonic to beat the first boss, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Strider. Dave Strider. Homestuck.
Did you say honk stuck? Yes, I did. Can't cheap it out. How comes bringing Strider back? No. What is. Okay, Sonic. What are you doing? What? I think a big part of learning this game efficiently is knowing when to take your hand off the buttons. Because if you keep them on, more often than not, it's going to cause problems. The fact that the camera goes behind the fucking pillars is really annoying. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. Again, I have to I have to accept that I'm playing on hard mode, so this is gonna be more difficult than it should be. And that's what I was gonna talk about before. Yes, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, if you don't beat the game on hard mode, you don't get, like, the true final, like, sequence for the game. Which is a bit weird. But at the same time, you don't have to do what I'm doing at all. It turns out you could play the game on, like, normal or easy, and just turn it up to hard at the very, very end. But at the same time, uh, I'm enjoying this game as it is, so I kind of don't want to make it any easier. It is, it's stupid because it, the game, it's, there, there's no real indication of it. When you pick hard mode from the menu, it says, for those who want a challenge and a little something extra, which I guess is supposed to be the hint that there's a, a different ending. If you play in hard mode, uh, son of a shit. I'm gonna abandon ship here so I don't lose again. Like the- fuck. Game- oh my god. Yeah. It's just not the clearest thing. They could have made it a little more... obvious. I was not on that rail. good it's good don't worry don't mistake my frustrated my frustration with um with with dislike It's funny because this, again, these fights are kind of pointless. Why? No? I think there's a little too much I gotta do here.
Maybe that's why I'm getting abilities so quickly. Maybe on hard I get more experience or something. <coughs> Gear! Do I have a separate set of gears for this area? Because that's gold. Yes, we do. Okay. So never mind. Maybe we do gotta fight some shit over again. Those things follow you. What? What is this? Slam. Oh, it killed me. Yeah, that's that's the other thing you gotta you gotta really be careful of. Uh, you do not get iframes when you're doing anything in this game. You can be wailing on an enemy, and if someone hits you from the side, uh, that's it. It's over. Oh, that's weird. It like respawned me after I beat the boss, but before I grabbed the gear. I was like, I beat the enemy, where's my gear? What's it want me to do? Psy loop? Okay. That happened when I was playing Splatoon tonight. When I did my dailies in Splatoon. So what happened was, um,. It's daytime now. I roll... I, I did my daily pull in Splatoon, and I got one of the rarest items. Not rarest, but I got one of the most expensive decorations for my locker. And, uh... The most expensive decoration, actually. And I went into a match. I recorded the... I recorded me pulling it. Like, I took a, a Switch video. I posted it to my Twitter. Went into a match. Did a couple... Did a couple matches for my daily, you know, bonus... Then when I went, then when I leveled the catalog up and got a sea snail to use the shell out machine, I noticed that for some reason the, the first play of the day was back, and I'm like, what? Apparently somehow the game didn't like didn't save me using it, and then I just pulled it again, and it's 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 set. I think each day what you're gonna get out of it because I got the same exact thing once I played it again, but uh, I was I was a bit like weirded out by the fact that it didn't save. I'm getting gears quickly. Am 
But when do I fight the Molduga? When does that show up? I need, like, anything to get my bearing here, because I'm kind of just running all over the place, and there's no map until I, uh, uncover something. Really should be abusing the trick system. Oh my god. Gaga? That's what I started the stream with. Me? Gungaga. All oh, right, we're getting Crisis Core remastered next month too. Shit. With a new with a new dub, so we'll have a new version of me Gungaga. I get like anxiety watching him fall that far. Excuse me. Ugh. Yeah, thank god there's no fall damage. That'd be a weird thing to have in a, in a Sonic game. I'm glad, uh... I'm honestly glad, uh... Mario did away with fall damage. Odyssey doesn't have any. Man, I would've loved to stream Odyssey when that came out. That was before I could stream for my Switch, though. And it's my brother's, uh, game that he has digitally. So I can't, uh... I can't play. Actually, no, wait. I do have an account for him on this Switch, so if I could get into the eShop, I could theoretically download it and play it. Why must you torture me with so with Zach? Oh, oh you reloaded the stream. Okay. I don't know what the requirement was for that. Okay. At least we, we got some sort of bearing here now. We know where to head. Oh wow, he has nothing for me now, huh? These these upgrades have already gotten expensive. Speaking of Mario, Bowser's still hot. I mean, I don't disagree with you. Oh, wait. This, I've been here already. Oh, this is... You can't... That's interesting. You. This is side-scrolling. You can't actually move left and right, or move up and down. Let's... Okay, come on. That That's a bit too much, please.
Wait, what? Oh, I already got that. Peanuts are delicious. Okay, good save. See, I don't mind... Okay, I don't mind enemies with puzzles to beat them, but, like, if we're gonna make, like, every encounter in this game a puzzle encounter after, after a certain point, it's gonna get to the part where I just don't fight things because there's much better ways to get stuff. Wonder if you could draw a heart with that speed thingy? I could draw more than a heart. Watch this. Draw far more than a heart. Hold on. Well, first, let me let me get whatever this is. Okay. You know, I, ha I had to do it. Yeah, he's Susnick now. If I'm being obnoxious, I might as well just, you know. Baba Bowie. Yippee! Game really No, I did that. I did that with my stream deck. Hit something I shouldn't have there. That's where I also have all the Owendon and EBA sound effects. Okay, wait. Whoa, Sonic, you're slip sliding all over the place here, bud. Ah, I see. These are just heavy switches. There we go. It's good you did that. I would have done something worse. Not yet. I have to get through the ones I have. Did you ever try out... Oh, the toothpaste. I completely forgot about that. Look at all those medals. I feel like labeling where the collectible, like, medals are is, like, the silliest thing. Because they regenerate. You could get them again once you've gotten them. There's no point to marking them on the map. Yeah, we use your stream deck for sound alerts. Um, I don't know. Like, there is a way... I probably could, but, like... Right now, I'm using Streamlabs for my uh, for my alerts on my channel. I have to use the stream I have to use the Streamlabs uh, site for that, which I shouldn't do. I should switch because honestly, I've heard Streamlabs. Well, not heard. I know Streamlabs. They they do some kind of they do some stupid shit. So I can probably transfer them to another service, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know what exactly. Okay. I can do with the this in terms of alerts.
Oh, fuck. Well, Strider's about to return. Okay. Strider 2 Electric Boogaloo. Shit, I didn't have this on hand. I didn't think this was going to happen. Might be a little too loud if I have this on max volume, but... Fuck, where is it? Why, do, why is it whenever I need shit? Fun fact, you cannot hear that in the English version of, um, of Hark Old and Soul Silver, because that's for the slot machines, which, which they removed in, uh, the, uh, English version. Oh, wow, I see what they mean by the, the camera focusing on the flying enemies. I remember Celine mentioning that earlier. Did you roll that? That was weird. So what is actually... Oh, I see, there's sand dunes here. Okay, hold on. Oh, there's one up here as well. So mad about the no gambling for you. Thanks, Europe. Yeah, it's all Europe's fault. Once again, Europe has screwed us. Do I have a diamond and pearl here? No, I don't. Does the slot machine really keep going until I, I run out of star bits? Actually, get from that. Not a lot. Can't even gamble with Twitch points. Yeah, I don't have any Twitch-like gambling things in play. Hello? Why can't I? Oh, if there's an enemy nearby, you cannot pull up the map. Okay. I actually didn't notice that. Uh, all right, so we can go over here to unlock all that part of the map. Look how many medals there are. 2.30. Okay, so I'm gonna go for about another hour or so, maybe a little more, but tonight might be coming to an end. Gamble one french fry. I've never been a big gambler. Gamble 621 birds. That's a very specific number.
This is where you catch spicy cheap poof, isn't it? Triffy. Oh, my rings. Rookie numbers, I'm all in with a 34k burp seed. It's because I don't have anything to redeem it on. I really don't want to keep fighting these things, they're annoying. Barbecue Bunger, yes. God, I love the bug snacks. I really hope that, uh, that they make another one. Whoa, whoa. I don't know how I pulled that off. Hoping for a bug snacks fighting game. I don't know. No. Sonic. Swink. What are you doing? Bug Snacks, the visual novel. Did you know that the first Silent Hill game uh, was ported to the GBA as a visual novel? Bug Snacks, werewolf. <laughs> like, I don't know how that works. Like, because Silent Hill has multiple endings. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, I can access stuff with the gear now. Also, I can fix Knuckles. I, I really should go back and do that, huh? There's another giant enemy over there. I don't know if I'm ready to fight it. I was just there checking their nail. No, Knuckles is like trapped in a cyber world hellscape right now. Side loop could be a bit touchy about where, uh, about when it's. You gotta be kidding me. That's cool. He's learning all the cryptos, the true hell. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Elder. Oh, I never got the other scroll. The Elder Scroll and the Hermit Scroll. Okay, so this is talking about that one right there. It does disappear from the map, but I don't think it matters much. Sumo. Ugh. Use the ropes to push Sumo into the charge area. 
The more bounces Sonic gets, the more force in his push. Oh, being able to do quick side loop now makes makes some of this a little easier. Okay, bud. Let me uh, let me stand back and recover a bit. No? Alright. Yeah! Yeah, it's the thing from the it's the thing from the new Pokemon trailer. Which again, I know we know some of us know what it is already, but I will not say because that's technically digging into leak territory. You know what, Sour Cream? I'll let that comment slide because I absolutely agree with you. <laughs> But also... So Knuckles, yeah. This, this game is like... It's... it's it, may be, it may not be true open world, but... Was incredible. The game just couldn't handle me. Where the hell am I? Okay. I have to make my way all the way back down here, I think. Or was it over here? Oh no. I actually don't know. I forget where Knuckles is. Game said you too thick, yeah. Wait, no, I went through this exact one already. Hold on. Oh, wait. I just have to follow the radar. It's not even that I forgot, it's just I'm getting sidetracked every time I walk anywhere. It's like, oh, hey, here's some shit that I could do. actually go in there. This is gonna be this is the end of the level, isn't it? That's where I have to go at the end. 
we can ditch him, aren't we? No, we have to at least find him. We have to f free him from his crypto cr uh, crypto uh, cell. There's Strider. Spicy strawberry thing. There he is. What was that face Sonic was making there? Save him before Eggman turns him into an NFT. All right, I got a new ability now. I'm still half ghost. I'm working on it, okay? What's going on with you? Uh, just a little side effect of the island's weird energy. How'd you get here, Knuckles? What are you doing so far from home? I was investigating some strange ruins when I was transported here, then got trapped. Never a dull moment with you. Just bring me up to speed. Listen, help me find the Chaos Emerald so I can beat up some big robots. You'll be free and back to guarding the Master Emerald in no time. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Semi sounds like the usual knuckles, yeah. Cyclone kick. Hold Y during a comp. You are the key. Be empowered with this technique. Those purple coins over there. Launch a powerful attack that delivers a flurry of hits as Sonic ascends. Oh, that's the one. This this is the move that everyone was bitching about in the first trailer. Because it looked like Sonic wasn't moving at all during it, even though he wasn't. But they fixed. You know, that wasn't the final build of the game. Obviously, might be good for crowd control. I feel like the cash just goes. Oh yeah, the Master Emerald exists. Knuckles is guarding it. Yeah. Again, there is a short animation that was released last week. That's kind of a prequel to this, where it shows how Knuckles ended up here. Alright, so that's going to be Tails' move. So I need 30 points to get one of the next ones. Loop Kick or Homing Shot, which I'll probably get Homing Shot. Then I'll get Loop Kick, then Spin Slash, then Recovery Smash. Bust it down funky style, yeah. These real crystal things. Also hints about the Master Emerald, yeah. Alright, well now we've probably got Knuckles icons to, uh... Yeah. There he is. Homing shot looks, word homing shot is giving you flashbacks. Uh, 
Uh, keep going speed to it, level 10. Then we'll start doing ring. Then we'll bring ring up to it. Careful, Sonic. Looks like a homing shot. Anyway, check what I could do. There's no woo. Oh gods, yeah. Did the tree move? Yeah, fast. Yeah, I kind of wish the camera wouldn't focus on that enemy. It's annoying. He was really scenic, yeah. No, the game is beautiful. Switch switch issues aside, this game is really nice looking. Have you been here before? You're navigating the island like it's nothing. Oh, no. See, when I interact with these things marked with this symbol, I automatically learn the lay of the land. It's like the island is beaming a GPS signal right into my brain. Pretty cool, right? I'm sure that's the ancients doing as well. I wonder what that symbol means in their language. Now, come to think of it, you don't actually see it printed anywhere in the villages. I guess the true meaning is lost to time. Hmm. You don't say. Beep, 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 beep. Well, there's the end of level mystery, so let's... no. Pop that down. Now we see an Among Us. Amogus. Okay. All right, take care, Ruff. Thank you, uh, Ruff. That's what Sour Cream called you. Thank you. Take care, Gem. I'll see you around. Uh, okay. What am I doing? How did I end up all the way down there? You played D and D earlier. Nice. D and D is very fun. Whoop! There we go. There we go.
We may or may not have gotten trapped in an ultra dimension full of malicious creatures and tabbles sucking the life force out of you to feed their regen pool of tentacle monsters that you... Okay. Or mind flayers. There you go. I always know that whenever I read any of your statements, there's always going to be something horny, like, hidden at the end. Or waiting for me at the end, or hidden in it. Uh, okay. Why is there, like, one square that I can't get? Okay. Well, I got turned around completely. Gotta figure out how to get to that spot over there. Music's really fitting. Yeah, no, the, the atmospheric mu all the music in this game is really good. The atmospheric music, the 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 the, the techno EDM music in the uh, in the uh, cyberspace stages. A again, it's just more that uh, those cyberspace stages. They all like since there's no songs dedicated to like a theme. You're kind of just you hear a song. It's like oh, it's good. It plays in a cyberspace stage. But the cyber space stages like kind of lack their own identity as a result. I don't have any keys in this. Oh, I have one key. Just unlocked it. It's giving you D and D vibes, being in the desert. The issue I have with with doing desert stuff in D and D is that you always have to worry about water management and shit like that. Give me power. Nice. It's easy to get lost. Yeah, it, it's it's easy to get lost in this vast world of little fellas. This is kind of making me think, speaking of actually, speaking of, of mic references, uh, this is making me think of uh, Ore from Pokemon Coliseum and XD. More thirst than Star Desert, but my rack, so my rack can bard is not going to last long. Why play d d if you're going to play a humanoid? Just play an animal. You know it's what you want to do. Am I seriously all the way back here again? Finally made the Mur Orc. Oh, nice. Those are the little fellas right there. Some people are hating on this game. I mean, 
I, I absolutely under like like I said, I absolutely understand the criticisms with this game. I can understand why people why the general consensus seems to be that this is and while I don't like arbitrary number systems, I kind of agree with this. It's a seven out of ten game. I agree with that, absolutely, but it's a seven out of ten game that some people are gonna like consider like a ten out of ten. For me, I think this is if if I really had to put a number on it so far, it's sitting around a solid like I'd say 8, 8.5 for me. And again, I'm the only frustrations I'm having are because I'm playing on hard mode. I'm assuming if I turn down the difficulty, uh, the fights that I'm having issues with would be a lot more manageable. 0 out of 10, too much sand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. everywhere. Some people that hate things for the sake of hating them, yeah. Is that a key? Wait, roll gold? Pretty good. Point of this bit again. Nice, uh, nice <laughs> geography mapping there. I have no idea where I am right now. I didn't fall in the water at least. Lots and lots of squares. God, no, we can't, we can't boost here. So then you checked something but couldn't because the key respawned. What? Yeah, no, no, I, it was the gear, and I got, I got it, I got it back. Oh my god, how, how much lower does this island go? Your station. Uh, everything's timed here. Platform. Wow, that sucked. Okay. Whoa. That, that level geometry.
Does that count as me, like, rescuing a bunch of them? The problem we're seeing at the camera angles. Yeah, I've tried adjusting it, too, and it's not always great. The camera doesn't always behave the way you want it to, which is fine. I mean, it's... It's the game's engine trying to keep up with a lot of movement at once. at the bottom of the map. Save that. Okay, time for a new move. Uh, let's get the homing shot. Launch a volley of energy sh spheres at the enemy. R ZR in the air and Y in the air. Wait, what? Now that's cinematic. Okay. So it has to be during like a boost section. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Crunchy wunchy uwu. What is happening? I'm the one who's been streaming for five hours. I should be the one acting l like a, a lunatic right now. Alright, well now like the, the urge to like farm farm uh, points is low because I need another 30 to get at least one more thing. But at this point, we're we're in the we're in the home stretch for that. We just need 120 uh, skill points. And I guess that's it. Is there really no other abilities after that? Outside of the tails one, I mean. One of us. Yeah, I want to be one of us. The Last of Us 2, apparently there was more of us. Okay. No. Last of Us 2 is eh. That's your emotion on the game. I I don't. No, Last of Us I I dip 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 dip. What? Okay. I have no interest in The Last of Us at all. What 
the hell is... What am I supposed to do? Ah, that's what I was supposed to do. I figured it would be something like that when it, like, just did nothing for a few minutes, seconds, whatever. Oh, Chaos Emerald. Oh, wait, that's the one I found before. Home run. You can do a, you can do a move called the Grand Slam if you parry. No, I don't care about the Strider. I'm not fighting it again. It's like fighting a daddy long legs. Bitch. Oh, one. All oh, right, it has to be nighttime for that. I really don't like those. Having a daytime, nighttime. Like if there's no way to change time of day quickly, they should not have. Challenges exclusive to the time of day. This isn't a Denny's, no. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Speed to power. Return to the dream. I'm gonna return to the dream soon. I'm actually getting sleepy. That's not something that usually happens to me at three in the morning. Usually I have usually I keep going to like five, but I don't know. I might have to crash early tonight. And also, again, probably probably have COVID. I'm gonna find I guess I'll find out tomorrow. Pretty sure I've already, yeah, I've already gone to this one. Oh, the next knuckles. That how do I even get up here? I can't find a way over there. Sock's definitely moving a fair bit quicker than he was before. God, I've been here already. Uh, is there just a path back here that goes through this? There we go. Now I think I'm in, now I think I'm in a new spot. Yeah, cool. Knuckles should be close by. See the stock unless you want to wear wear burb. Form. Yeah. Wow, I'm out of it. I'm sorry. I gotta stop soon.
Thank you. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I did not see him. You are not red. Wait, do I not have enough? How do I not? not have enough tokens still. Is it going to take 131 to do this? I think I'm starting to get a fever. Watching, you're watching a human being deteriorate in real time. Fuck. I'm definitely getting sweaty. jump in and out of cyberspace and I'm stuck halfway. Uh, beats me. It sounds like we all experience the dimension differently. Yeah, I didn't see any way out. Your trips sound less complicated. Well, whatever. The spooky Skyboy says I just have to trash the Titans to get you guys back to normal, so we have a plan. Oh yeah? Why isn't it talking to the rest of us then? Shush, B-plot. Oh, okay. It doesn't. You don't lose your medals when you when you uh, or you don't lose your tokens when you do it. You just need to hit a threshold. Uh. Yeah. Why not? Let's unlock one more stage. The monolith has been activated. Zip zoom. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a monolith, Biggs John. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's a side scrolling one. You guys really like the cyberspace music, huh? seven seconds too slow. No, I had to beat it in 55 seconds to get the Mac, to get the best rank. Alright. I, I was looking for the rings. The thing is, those rings were all, like, in a very... I'll say that the red rings in this game are definitely easier to get than other Sonic games. I think, was Colors the first one that had the red rings in it, or was it Unleashed or 
06, because I didn't play either of those. But the red rings in, in colors would often take some work to get. In this game, they seem, because there's so many of them, I guess, they're kind of pretty easy to uh, obtain. I got three vault keys. Robot. Yo, this thing sucks. Bitch. Alright. Okay. I gotta get my heading here. Where am I going here? It's the it's the thing from uh from Kirby 64. That, that looks exactly like the spaceship from Kirby 64. The one that you go in in the desert. You are not... The guy. The alien with creepy angle enemy, yeah. You are not the guy. You are not able to be the guy. I had a guy, but now I don't. There we go. Now we got a bit more to work with here. <sighs> I don't think I could take any more challenges. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to Kronos and I will end this with the. Uh... This takes a while. Transferring islands, this cutscene. This uh, loading screen takes a bit. Or maybe not. Maybe it was just the first time I went here.
the violin goes hard. Yeah, it does. Okay, but that's not what we're here for. Uh, we're going here. Unwind with a little fishing. Get some more of that uh that thing filled up maybe. Hey Sonic, welcome back. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Good time you get choose where I can and press A to when the float sinks with Oh wait, okay. Why did it give me another tutorial? <laughs> Yay, big. I miss you, big. Yeah, I missed him, too. Big is a good boy. A ring? Okay. Does count. Every item you fish up does have an entry. He's like a grape marshmallow. <laughs> Stingray. That's a rare one. Nice. Oh, is that the other scroll? Nice. Okay. Cool, well now I could fast travel to him in this island as well. <laughs> Excellent, it's a red can. Six tokens somehow, okay. <clears throat> Platinum Golden Fish. One token. I love how the garbage is worth more. Sour cream, that's very horny. Stop. Hey, it's spring. Red spring, an ordinary red spring, will stepping on will propel you even higher than a yellow spring. One of the gold rings that have aided Sonic in the past. This one seems to be a work of art that doesn't have any particular effect. Red can, an empty red can. Perhaps it contains some chili con carne for chili dogs. Mmm. I could maybe I might have a chili dog tomorrow night. Actually, no, I can't. Because of the whole COVID thing, we can't really have dinner like that. I mean, garbage is getting cleaned out of the lake, so yeah. By getting garbage, you're essentially cleaning the spring or lake. Yeah. Goldfish with a platinum-colored body. Its shiny scales are no doubt far more valuable than the regular kind. A ray, ray with venomous spines on its tail. The venom remains deadly even after it dies. Score written by Hermit Coco. If you... Yeah, okay. Cool. I, I am officially jealous. This entire expanse was constructed by the ancient race who had previously settled on these islands. The level of technology they employ is completely alien to me, so I can't salvage it. Yet... Pissing on the moon. <laughs> it appears the Starfall Islands act as the CPU for cyberspace. Once I'm out of here, I need to secure them at all costs. I'm not able to access the data too readily, but it appears the entire history of the ancients is recorded here in cyberspace. More than that, they logged their memories, their desires, it's almost like they encoded their very souls into this place. Now then, 
How can I use that to my benefit? Some foot. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Yeah, sure. It's really weird that you get to choose where to stick the line. Again, this is this is very simplistic, but it's fun. It's relaxing. That's something rare. Gold chest. Chest. Ooh, nice. Three golden razor blades. The lo-fi is nice, yeah. Lo-fi beats to, uh... Fish with your boyfriend. A squid! Duplicate yet? I think everything I've pulled up has been new. Oh, there's a silver can. It's rare. The chest. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow it. Would you like to try? I'll let you. Slick skinned creature with eight arms and two tentacles. The squid can make subtle changes to its appearance to hide from predators. The telegraphics need a lot of work. Uh, yeah. An empty tin can. Someone wants to consume the contents. Wonder what was in it. Marker that tracks passersby. If you fall after touching one, you can return to its location. Gold shiny treasure box must be something very expensive. It appears who were the ancients. They predate any civilization by a wide margin. The echidnas? The black arms? Please. The Babylonians? <laughs> Hardly. And yet they didn't seem to influence the world beyond these three piddly islands. Why? What stopped them from conquering the world? Interesting. Black arms is uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Babylonians is Sonic Riders. That's an interesting uh, cut. I'm finding multiple connections between the ancients and the chaos emblems. Their technology seems built with the emeralds in mind. It's almost like they share the same origin. I enjoy a good mystery, but not when the answers are more mysteries. Ah. Graphic on the lake is freaking out. Yeah, I noticed that too. I think it might be the cyberspace stuff, because you could still see in the air that there's, like, cyber shit going on, but I don't know. The ancients seem to have employed a set of strange icons as keepsakes or totems. That same imagery is being used by the Coco running around the islands. Did the Coco inspire the ancients? Or did the Coco adopt the leftovers once the ancients were gone? Hmm. Something wiped out the ancients, that's for certain. A catastrophic event caused dire environmental shifts across the islands. It appears they made some effort to rebuild, but they were living on borrowed time. They died out within a generation. I don't believe this. I had Sage run a diagnostic on the recorded genetic data of the ancients, and then against archives I have with me. They're relatives of Chaos, the god of destruction. After countless years, their DNA corroded to the point they were completely transformed into a new species. Some kind of radiation affected them for eons, making them unrecognizable. Except to a genius like me. <laughs> Some fort I don't believe. Would you like to try? Yeah, we can go for a few more minutes. Ah, 
Oh, hell yeah. Shiki Koi and a Mame Doi. And Andy's Komeji. Silver Acorn. Barracuda. An angler fish. Weren't they called a football fish in one of the, uh, Animal Crossing games. Seahorse! Why is it so big? I don't know. Moray Eel. <laughs> A gold plate. I'll get one more token and then I think it's time to wrap it up. I'm I'm like I'm like struggling right now. Madaka. Oh that's a that's a duplicate. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow. I wonder how many egg memos there are. Saltwater creature named for its horse-like appearance. Deep sea fish with a rounded body. Its name refers to the use of luminescent lure on its head to attract prey. Heck yeah, salted orange. Eating salted orange. What? The what is this salted orange? Is it just an orange with salt on it? I know people put salt on watermelon. Uh, especially in Japan. A type of carp with red, white, and black body was bred for its ornamental appeal, and its skin resembles brocade fabric. Orange with salt. Huh. A playlist only reached the goal. P running past one fills you with a sense of accomplishment. Attire for vehicles. They come in a variety of sizes and treads, but this one seems to be for a regular passenger car. Large fish with a big mouth and sharp teeth. Aggressive by nature, it's been known to attack people. An aquatic creature that looks like a snake. It has sharp teeth and a ferocious temperament. Salt augments the acidity of the orange. Mm. Silver acorn. What was the tree it came from? Silver too? Some I don't believe. I'm deploying my most advanced artificial intelligence into the ancient network spanning the Starfall Islands. I've codenamed it. Sage. Sage will take over the alien network, take control of all its resources, and give them to me. Ah! Once I'm out of here, Sage is performing at peak efficiency. Makes me wonder where I went wrong with Orbot and Cubot. Not only is she taking control of the Ancients network, but she's harassing Sonic as well. Ah! I'm deploying my most. Sage is performing at peak efficiency. Makes me wonder where I went wrong with Orbot and Cubot. Not only is she taking control of the Ancients' network, but 
she's harassing Sonic as well. I love it. I'm deploying. I don't believe this. I don't understand why. I'm my most advanced artificial intelligence into the ancient network spanning the Starfall Islands. I've codenamed it Sage. Sage will take over the alien network, take control of all its resources. So Eggman made Sage. I thought Sage was a being that already existed here. Also, why is he just mentioning that here when she already he already mentioned her being existing early? I don't know. I'm I'm out of it. My brain is. My brain is is mush right now. I'm zonked out of my out of my mind. It might be co it might be COVID zonk. I don't know. I went this whole stream and I didn't even drop a thousand frames. That's really good for for, for an almost six hour stream. Fast travel to Hermit Coco unlocked, but only for this island, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, catch completion complete. Oh, I've I've caught everything there is to catch here. I wonder if that's complete throughout the other uh, areas, though, or if there's more in the other fishing spots. This enemy didn't regenerate because it, it made a spring, I guess. I don't know. All right. I still wonder why there's like a little tiny piece of land all the way over here. You say I'm gonna stop, but then it's like I, I just want to play for like a few more minutes, just a few more. I can fight through it. I'm gonna be honest. I, it, regardless of whether or not it's for show, there is definitely something suspicious over there. Look at the shape of that island. That is not that is not just for there for decoration. There's absolutely something on that island. Huh. Oops. Actually, I'm curious, if Eggman created the Q-Bot and the other, then he must have created their AIs, yeah. Which is why he said, where did I go wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's something out there. But I, I don't think we're going to figure it out now. Alright, I'm gonna load up this so it loads in quicker next time, and then we'll be done. I'm literally one minute- I'm, I'm just stalling because I wanted to do exactly six hours of streaming. <laughs> and we're at- we're at one minute till... Eggman can be a therapist. Yeah, he's a doctor of emotion and mentality. That's a good- that's a good way of, uh, seeing things there. Alright, we got a fair bit more of this island to go. In fact, we haven't gotten any emeralds yet at all, so... I'd say we got quite a bit of it to go. But uh, we're making good progress. Considering, uh... Considering how little I made the first day. Exactly eight hours of gameplay, too. Cool. Well, 
Uh, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for everyone who was here. Uh, really appreciate it. I'm sorry that I seem to be deteriorating in real time. Again, I think I, I think I might have COVID, but we'll, we'll have to see. Um, you know, current plan again, come back tomorrow, do this again for maybe another six hours, do another, like, double stream of this, and then, uh, Splatfest and, and finish up Psycho this weekend. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Thank you so much for coming. If you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. You have a great evening, and uh, don't get sick like I am. Take care. Ooh, give me a break. Oh!